A Jedi shall know not anger, nor hatred, nor love. This tenet of Jedi doctrine is representative of one of the Order's most dominant philosophies, the suppression of emotion and of attachment. This philosophy exists as a reaction to the nature of the Dark Side and to the Sith. Wielders of the Dark Side of the Force feed on emotion, not only anger and hatred, but also passion, creativity, and love. In expanded universe material, we know of characters like Lana Benico, whose reasons for wielding the Dark Side come from a genuine desire to be creative and free-thinking, in a society where the fate of most Force users is to become an unfair feeling warrior monk. Sith warriors and Dark Jedi are able to feed on the emotions of their victims in combat, maintaining their own stamina by leeching on their victims' fear, or goading their opponents into rage and instability that they can add to their own power. Force users tend to snowball toward the dark or light sides of the Force with their actions. This means that an ostensibly good Force-sensitive person could commit an immoral act for the greater good, and in doing so be literally changed into a far darker individual who was ready to commit similar acts for entirely self-serving reasons. Ironically, this means a person who does not feel the Force may be more capable of making difficult and costly choices than a Jedi ever could be. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. The Jedi Order is well aware of the nature of the Dark Side, and the seductive influence it could have over their younger initiates, and so they teach a philosophy of emotional suppression, in the hope of creating warriors who present no passion or emotion that a wielder of the Dark Side could draw upon to empower themselves, or to convert the Jedi in question. Yoda claims that fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. The paradox, of course, is that creating and enforcing this philosophy was entirely motivated by fear. Fear of losing Jedi to the teachings of the Sith, and fear of empowering their enemies by showing emotion. And in doing so, they created countless generations of young Jedi who were forced to see attachment, expressiveness, and love as urges to be resisted. Across the many works of Star Wars fiction, we have seen this Jedi philosophy lead countless characters to self-destruction, most prominently Anakin Skywalker, whose struggle between obeying the Jedi Code and expressing his genuine feelings were directly responsible for his fall to the Dark Side and the rise of the Galactic Empire. I would argue that the number of Sith and Dark Jedi who have come into existence as a direct result of being emotionally constricted by Jedi teachings and driven to rebel is equal if not greater than any Sith Lord could hope to convert personally. I would further argue that by creating this doctrine, the Jedi did irreparable damage to the principles their order was founded on. Can a person truly devote themselves to protecting the innocent and putting an end to suffering if they deliberately restrict their capacity to feel and empathize with those they mean to protect? Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. It seems to me that to be a Force-sensitive person in the Star Wars galaxy is a rather tragic thing. A world of possibility and potential is sharply made binary for a person in tune with the Force. Either you choose to express your passions and feelings in a healthy way, and risk being warped into a vicious and self-serving person through no fault of your own, or you become a Jedi, teach yourself not to feel and live without really being alive. <laughs>